Important rule of negotiation, know what you're willing to give up before you start. One thing I know for sure, I'm not willing to give up on this. I stretch my arm toward the wall and turn out the lights. With the light snuffed out, my other senses rise, hunting for her in the dark. The smell of her hair and her quick, shallow breaths. My sight adjusts until the heavy black curtain completely obscuring her fades to gray. Light from the outer room spills under the door, revealing just the shape, the outline of her, but still camouflaging details. I cup her cheek, taking a moment to appreciate the softness of her skin, the silky hair brushing my knuckles. I'm not an idiot. She wants the lights out because she's self-conscious, but from my perspective she has nothing to be ashamed of. I think you're beautiful, Ban. You do? She asks, her voice hushed. My words surprise me as much as they seem to surprise her because I don't say shit like that to girls. The prettiest ones usually seem to already know, which makes any admiration I'd express redundant. But Banner, she's so beautiful, and I'm not sure she knows. I do. I push the hair away from her face. Ah, uh, thank you. Her laugh isn't much more than a breath. The lights are out, so I'm not sure that compliment counts. I know your face by heart. You have seven freckles here. I swipe a finger over the straight bridge of her nose and drift down to caress her full lips and the tiny dent in her cheek her smile displays. And a dimple right here. I explore the smooth skin of her nape under a heavy fall of hair. Now I want to know your body too, I say softly. Take off your clothes for me, Banner. After a sharply indrawn breath, she raises her arms, the rustle of her clothes, the sweatshirt, jeans, socks, shoes, being discarded whisper in the dark. I approximate her by touch, reaching for her arms and closing my fingers around the softness, the velvety skin. I lower my head and run my nose along her neck, discovering... You always smell so good. I've wanted to tell her that since the first night we studied here. Pretty pastel, she replies, her laugh low, nervous. What? I pause. The smell. It's my dryer sheets. The scent is pretty pastel. I like it. I resume my exploration, running a palm over her shoulder, her collarbone, until I find the soft, full weight of her breasts, testing them in my hands cupping them, holding them, brushing the nipples with my thumbs until they pebble and her breaths come harshly. You like that? I ask. I see her head nod in the semi-darkness. Yeah, it feels good. Her touch startles me in the best way, her hand finding my face, traveling over my mouth, eyes and hair. I sense her approach, feel tiny pants of breath on my lips, and anticipation has me panting too, shortens my breath and sharpens my senses. Her mouth seeks mine, eager and sweet when she kisses me. Her pleasure, her excitement matches, answers, fans mine. I guide her back down to the couch and with a hand at her shoulder urge her to stretch out. I'd shave points off my GPA for a glimpse of her, but she doesn't want that. I get it, so I settle for a taste. 